surprised me, knobs fell off. <laughs> That was a much better intro. I preferred that one to the last one. Bounce into the chair. You're right, guys. I'm Alex Morley, and I'm here today with Ross Bennett, and we're doing another Mallard review. I've got the Cabernita V2. Second Cabernita is made. And what have you got? Uh, I have uh, blue jeans. So uh, as you can tell, it looks like blue jeans because of the uh, texture it has on it. The uh, really nice flame maple cap on the top there. Flame maple cap. There you go, folks. You heard it here. Looking beautiful, if I do say so myself. I do like this one. So uh, what did you think of your guitar? You were playing it in the intro. Um, that I it does it really grows on you. I mean I've been playing it for two hours now and uh, like you like to say it's a really good guitar. It's got a rich tone and it's uh, it's got some really cool features on it as well. So first off I'll show you. It's got the uh, it's got the uh, you're gonna have to help me out on this you one. You fixed it. You fixed it now. <laughs> I fixed it now. <laughs> uh, you've got the coil tap capabilities, so you can switch between a single coil and if you push it down, you've got your humbuckers. So you've got that strat uh, and then to the Les Paul sound. As well, um, lost for words and its lost beauty. Lost for words and its beauty. Yeah, the uh, like I say, the uh, tuners it's got on it. You know, the overall design of the guitar, I really like it. It's really, it's a fairly small guitar, um, quite lightweight, which is why I like it. Because obviously, when you're rocking out on a guitar, it's what you want. You don't want to be sadly like. Ugh. Yeah, I said that in guitar. one of the other reviews as well. If you've got a guitar that's way too heavy and you just up there and it's breaking your back while you. Performing, you push you off, it? Push off your guitar. Yeah. Your guitar playing, shall I say? But like I say, I really like this guitar. I can't fault it. It's got the. You have to remind me what they are as well. What the humbuckers themselves. It's got the. Uh, yeah. Well, they're really nice. Anyway. They're Chris quite nice. high output, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, you can roll it down. You can roll the tone down and uh, get quite a nice little vibe from it. The fact that this one has 24 frets as well, oh. you get much, much higher, you know, much higher notes out of it. So uh, that's what I like about this guitar as well. So with all your newer songs that are coming out, that are pushing further and further and further up the fretboard, this one it can go right up to the very tippy top. Oh, oh you've done me that. Uh, yeah, I'll onto your, uh, your V2. If you want more of a classic vibe, something a bit heftier. Saying that, it's still relatively lightweight. Um, this has only got 22 frets on it, but it's got more of a, a muddy vibe to it uh, in comparison to this. Um, and yeah, it's good if you want to play like old style Clapton, a bit of Jimi Hendrix as well. Uh, you don't really need a crazy overdrive pedal because uh, if you've got the gain on full, this does the job for you with the two Arctic pickups in. Uh, just to let you know, we're going to be doing the specs uh, while the pictures are rolling. Uh, as well as the music. So yeah, if you want to see the full specs on both of these guitars, stay tuned. Anything else you want to add on? Um, no, not really. Oh, one thing there is. Um, like I say, I'm not sure if it's just because it's a. Uh, it's this is like I say, these have been handcrafted. These are really nice guitars. I've got to give that, you that. I've, I've got something to tell you about that one actually. Oh no. Yeah. The body, the body. Uh, and the neck were actually sourced. Oh, uh, okay. And then you know. Well, anyway, they've been hand built. Should I say? Yeah. So, uh, but like I say, the only thing is, is that you get a little bit of vibration with the uh, as you're strumming. So as you're playing certain chords, you get the uh, the strings hitting on the frets every so often. So you get sort of a sounds like you're hitting tin foil, really, doesn't it? It does, but it could be fixed with a, oh, yeah, a quick yeah, simple yeah. setup on it. Uh, just a bit of fret work on it. Yeah, just a little bit of fret work, and like I say, this guitar is perfect. I really enjoy it. Yeah, you kind of fell in love with it a little bit with the yeah. color of it and everything. Really nice deep blue. You wanted uh, gold hardware on it. I didn't did you? want gold hardware on it. Yeah. That would look pretty cool. Yeah, I've yeah. got gold hardware. You have gold hardware. I've got gold hardware. Yeah. But I prefer this gold, this non-gold hardware. I would like it like this, but in gold. <laughs>
kill.